Now we're going to know, we're going to learn how to calculate correlation between two, two assets. It can be any assets as long as you have their prices and calculate their returns. So we already have the, uh, the uh, SPY. So let's choose a uh, individual security so we can go back to Yahoo Finance and let's just pick uh, one of the largest companies, Microsoft. Their symbol is MSFT. And we go to, just like we would go, we go to uh, their home page, we go to historical data. We define our time period, so we want to define, make sure it's the same exact time period. It's from July 30th, 2017 to July 30th, 2019. We want to get historical prices, we want to do weekly. We click apply, it's then going to give us our our data for Microsoft closing prices for two years. It's going to create an Excel file. And now we have all of Microsoft, so we want to change this, identify Microsoft as our variable. Now one thing you want to make sure is that your dates line up. So even if you download the data from the same source, make sure the dates line up. So we just need these two, we just need these two uh, columns. So we can copy. We go back to our original file that has our original, our original uh, index, SPY. And we paste. And we can go down and make sure that they all line up. So we can either look at different observations. So like right here, September 3rd, September 3rd, they're the same. And down here, July 29th, July 29th. So they're both the same. All right, so there's a couple different things you can do. One is I'll show you a shortcut. So we, we calculated the returns here for SPY. Well, rather than redoing the whole formula, we can just control copy, control paste. That's going to give us all the returns for Microsoft. And again, we click on the corner and it's going to complete that function for all the weekly returns. And let's take a look and make sure it makes sense. We started the week at 70 point one, about 70 and 15 cents. We ended the week at 69 and 97 cents. That's a small, small decline and that makes sense. So we have all our, we have all our uh, weekly returns for Microsoft. We don't need this date anymore. So now we can label this MSFT return. So we have Microsoft return, we have the S&P 500 return. We can go ahead and do the same thing for a standard deviation of Microsoft. We can either redo the whole formula or take a copy of it and then paste it. So now we have the standard deviation of Microsoft. We can see it's a little bit higher than the SPY, which it makes sense. Now if we want to do the correlation, so we can go down here and label correlation. And this will be between SPY and MSFT. And again, Excel has a very simple formula. It's Corel. So you get the equal sign and Corel, and you pick your first series of returns, which will choose SPY. And then comma, and then MSFT. So we're getting the correlations between the returns of Microsoft and the returns of SPY, which represents an ETF, which represents the S&P 500. So we end up with a correlation of 0.79825. So now you can pick any security, you can pick any index, any investment with prices, and you can calculate the correlation between those two assets.